Okay, here we are. I think it's June 24th, and I'm uh, going to give you a Tim Barrel Garden update. Here's my field of dreams, so to speak. These two are empty. Those three are not filled. But these, I think it's 22 of them, are filled with Albion Everbearing Strawberry. These four planted before the other 18. And uh, not all the transplants made it, but uh, the ones that did are now putting on nice big red berries. As you can see here, some of them are not red. Some of them are turning red. <clears throat> but this is their first year. Just planted, you know, a few weeks ago. And they're already producing. And the nice part about them hanging uh, mid-air is that they get them away from the slugs and the bugs and the soil and the moisture which makes them rot a lot less and uh, less bugs tend to find them and so there's a couple of missing spots but uh, mostly they're doing pretty good pretty good <clears throat> see some more here dangling so uh, these are ever bearing uh, strawberries so they'll just keep producing all year no matter what the day um, as opposed to the June bearing strawberries which produce a lot you know uh, all at once sort of thing so I did transplant a few uh, lettuces around because I had a whole lot of them I did put a few uh, seeds in the top like here's a couple of beans that have uh, decided to grow so normally I just throw seeds right at the gardens and then whatever comes up comes up uh, the strawberries and the lettuce are the exception just because I had so many lettuces already, just uh, from seed. They all did grow from seed, but in a clump together. So I subdivided them. Um, let's see if I can find you a little bit more variety. Here's a little tiny tomato. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I explained, but uh, the, this is the watering system. So you're getting 22 square feet of vertical planting surface where you can plant any vegetable you want, more or less. Uh, and then you fill this with water. And it's an unglazed clay vessel, which I'm going to show you uh, over here. So it's two terracotta pots, uh, silicone together with an all-weather um, freeze-proof silicone. And then you get the hole in the bottom plugged so that the water can only weep through the clay wall and not, uh, you know, not too fast. And that way the barrels don't get overwatered. It catches rain as normal, uh, but then you top up the Oya when it's needed. And that should give you like an extra week or so of watering, so you don't have to be out here every day watering it. Um, and yeah, there's a few other interesting things popping up. I got uh, dill here that we transplanted also. Uh, this one is actually from seed, which is like a corn. So we'll see, you can do corn in here if you want, or beans, or squash, or peas, or anything you want, really. And so you're not bending over so much, and uh, there's way less weeding to do, because most of the surface area is covered uh, in plastic. Uh, like a lot of organic farms do that in fields. They cover the fields with plastic and poke holes for their plants. But this way you don't need to bend over. There's a lot less watering, you get more space in less area, and you don't have to deal with like rabbits and dogs and other things that might uh, bug you, basically. So thanks for uh, looking at my garden updates. Um, hopefully I'll keep you posted soon. Thanks.